Hey everybody, welcome back for episode 10 of Worth the Wait. Wally, I'm so excited we made it this far. I'm excited too. One, zero? <laughs> Alright, as always, I'm Caters here with my ever-charming and capable co-host, Wally. Hello! So, let's get right into it. Alright, my third round pick this week is Super Tooth. This is a family fun card game. There's really not a whole lot to say about it other than it's really cute. It's got dinosaurs. So for our viewers who've got, you know, a kid, niece, nephew, this is a sort of like a perfect little gift. Okay, cool. Everyone loves dinosaurs, especially little Everyone. kids. It's, a, it's an educational thing. Yep, exactly. Cool, I like it. My number three pick this week is Heart Forth Alicia. And it's an indie title that's getting a lot of love on Kickstarter right now. Every week we have to have a darling. Yeah, we do, and this one's very popular, and it follows the exploits of a young wizardress trying to save her world. And it's so beautiful, it has such a Castlevania, Metroid, old Legend of Zelda vibe to it, but in this, these gorgeous colors. It's a melding of old technology and, you know, nostalgia with some new tricks that just makes a beautiful adventure game. So I think you should really check it out. I'm really excited about my second pick this week, this is Echoes of Eridu. I really think that it speaks for itself in how awesome it looks, how great it sounds. It's got this like retro feel with this very clean modern visuals. Insane multiplayer platforming with hundreds of weapons and you're slashing and blowing away aliens. I'm getting kind of a Castlevania by way of Mega Man thing. Exactly, that is exactly what it is, but it just it looks so smooth, so much fun. Yeah, I'll look into it. Uh, my pick this week is uh, for number two is Pop Up Dungeon. It is a digital representation of the old kind of papercraft dungeon crawler you'd play with your friends. It's a roguelike. Uh, it's it, it different each time you play. You can customize uh, a lot of the elements of the of the adventure. You can make your own spells, your own abilities. It really does blend the best of both worlds with video games, board games, and I love this. I love any sort of weapon and spell customization. Yeah, I really think people should look into it, especially since they haven't hit their goal yet. They're about 20,000 off, but there's still two weeks to go. Alright, this is my big daddy this week. I've been waiting for so long to talk about this game. It is the Universe Sim, and there's a reason that it's huge on Kickstarter. Whoa. This ginormous, like, you know, SimCity, like, resource management, planet management, God mode game. Wow. But it's got like this inner space exploration aspect to it, natural disasters, like pretty much like alien encounters as you take your civilization from the dark ages, you know, hitting with rocks, researching technologies, getting all the way up to the future. It's awesome because your societies, they don't, they don't necessarily listen to you and it literally is a God game in the fact that you accumulate wrath <laughs> and you can, you know, you can unleash that wrath on your people whenever they do something you don't like. It just, it sounds like something I can't wait to sink hours of my life into. Yeah, it looks great. I can't wait to look into this more, too. I love God Sims and, and management sims like this. It sounds like it has a lot to offer. A ton. Okay, my number one pick this week is The Old City. And uh, I've been playing a lot of games right now recently, especially Dark Souls, where you're kind of a hero that comes into the play after the story's already ended, and you need to piece together what's happened as an epilogue. And that's exactly what you do here. It's an exploration game. It has some philosophical elements, some narrative elements. There's no combat, limited gameplay, but you're just meant to explore this dilapidated universe as a journeyer from beneath the, the surface of a, of a city and rising towards the surface again. And you know, this the visuals of this game, looking at the trailer, it really reminds me of like Amnesia Machine for Pigs meets Dear Esther meets Mist. It's just something about the game that's captivating to me, especially since it doesn't use combat as a primary driver. So I really want to give it some support and some attention. Alright guys, well I hope that that helped you to get as excited for these games as we are. What a great group this week. Excellent group. Lots of games that were, are worthy of your attention, your time, and hopefully your money. And if you like this content, if you like comedy, gaming, League of Legends, and podcasts, make sure to check out JustOKGamers.com for all of that and more. And also check us out on Facebook and YouTube slash JustOKGamers. Okay